Located on a hill away from the busyness of city life, Red Rock Bar and Grill in the Dogura area along Magi Highway has provided an avenue over 10 years for city residents to have a weekend getaway or just relax for a breathtaking view. However, this has now been disrupted greatly with the onset of COVID-19. Yes, the ban on alcohol sales has, has dramatically affected our business. Um, I cannot operate a bar without selling beer. No one wants to come here and uh, not drink on the weekend. So that's the main, uh, main, uh, that's the main drive to, for people to come out here to have a nice drink, enjoy the beautiful view and a relaxed low afternoon, have a cold one, maybe watch the rugby league game. And for a month now, Mr. Kilage's staff have been laid off and business operations have been halted. He appeals to the government and relevant authorities to consider the effects of the situation seriously and provide some relief for businesses, bars and restaurants in particular. Ten plus staff were unemployed last week. They were, I had to give some money to some of my staff just to buy rice. Uh, um, I think the government should um, look at venues like this and just give us a limit on how many people we can allow to come in. Now look, let's see if we have proper procedures for uh, uh, social distancing. I think pokey houses to uh, restaurants, plenty of hotels are laying off staff. I think we've got about 3,000, um, conservatively speaking, 3,000 Papua New Guineans out of jobs in, uh, in Port Moresby. Alotau MP Charles Abel, who has raised concerns on the current state of PNG's economy following the adjournment of Parliament to August 10 last week, shared his views on the situation. But I believe some of those businesses are at the point of shutting down now. Many, many businesses throughout Papua New Guinea are struggling to, to continue. And there is a concern about the lack of an economic plan for this country that is very, very uh, concerning.